नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल आयुर्वेद थ्री सिक्सटी सो इन द प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव सीन स्टाइपेंट्स इन रिलेशन टू पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन ऑफ मेजर इंडियन कॉलेजेस दैट इज इन रिलेशन टू आयुर्वेद एंड आल्सो वी हैव सीन द पीएचडी स्टाइपेंट ऑफ नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ आयुर्वेद सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लुक एट द करंट स्टाइपेंट दैट इज बीइंग पेड टू द पीएचडी स्कॉलर्स स्टडीइंग और परस्यूइंग पीएचडी इन ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ आयुर्वेद न्यू दिल्ली सो दिस मस्ट बी one of your favorite videos to know about the exact benefits what the students or scholars are getting in national institutes so kindly watch this till the end so the all india institute of ayurveda is a part of ministry of ayush the central ayurveda college so it is coming under the university that is delhi university it's not a deemed university it is coming under the delhi university so the next session is also going to be started in goa that is one of the satellite branches of all india institute of ayurveda so uh, there only ug is going to be conducted not the higher education now the all india institute of ayurveda new delhi started in 2016 functioning as a educational institute from the admission point of view so the first pg batch was 2016 which uh, ultimately Uh, ended their pg in 2019 so soon after that the first phd exam was taken in 2020 and the first batch was taken and now the second batch has also joined the phd so very soon in a few months so you are going to get notification for the next year phd so what is the exact stipend that is in relation to these phd scholars in today's time that is the point of interest now since the phd courses in national institute of ayurveda jaipur and all india institute of ayurveda Uh, that is new delhi are 3 years like both are having 3 years course so the pay scale or you can say the stipend is divided based on uh, particular part called as basic and the d that is dearness allowance and both of these are followed by taking seventh pay commission scale so that is level 10 of uh, that is the sorry the seventh pay scale now the first year phd scholar in all india institute of ayurveda will get a basic of 5315 50315 second and third both the years uh, that is both the year scholars are going to get the salary or stipend basic as of now around 52 roughly around 52 and it is not having any variation because uh, still the uh, revision has to happen and uh, maybe at that particular point of time second and third year there could be some difference otherwise right now it is the same this is in relation to basic stipend now by now you might be already experienced uh, uh, in relation to how to calculate this stipend so now along with this basic there will be a dearness allowance that is called as da and this will be calculated based on the central government's announcements every january and july there will be a revision so right now the seventh pay commission their dearness allowance is 38% of the basic for all the central employees irrespective of the post they are going to get 38% since july 1st 2022 so it gets changed on uh, january 1st 2023 so hence uh, every 6 months it is going to get revised now as per this 38% you can see here the present da for all the three year pg scholars are respectively 19120 19756 19756 19, if you combine these two you are going to get the actual stipend the actual stipend right now is around roughly 17 first for first pg phd scholar roughly around 72 for the second and third phd scholar now this is in relation to all india institute basic structure of the stipend now since there is no hostel or accommodation facility given by the institute since the building is new and not yet uh, like uh, the allocation of place is not yet done for the accommodation purpose uh, once the students had uh, requested and ultimately got their uh, demand uh, like uh, justified that is if they are not giving the accommodation at least they should give hra so that was the intention of asking at that particular point of time maybe few years ago later the management agreed and ultimately it was passed that all the uh, like scholars irrespective of pg and phd will get a sum of 9000 as a can say hra as a compensation for hra so they don't have any hra as such hra means house rental allowance which is again dependent on basic i think you might have seen in certain other salary structures which we have already covered so it everything depends on basic basic increases hr also increases but not in this case in the case of all india institute of ayurveda all the scholars will get 
a consolidated means fixed HR that is house rental allowance charge of 9000 rupees as decided by the authority. Now 9000 rupees is added for every month that is why the total stipend is right now 78 and a half almost for first PhD, second PhD gets around 80 and third PhD also gets around 80. Now this is the actual uh, payment what they are getting at the present moment. Now if you want to calculate this after a few months maybe say January now then what to do then go through the DA at that particular point of time calculate accordingly then add. By chance imagine there is a, a development of new accommodation facility in the or an institute of Ayurveda campus then possibly the HRA part may be removed maybe possibly and then uh, accordingly the uh, addition or you can say the total stipend will be calculated. So the structure of All India Institute of Ayurveda and National Institute of Ayurveda is exactly the same. Only difference is NIA is giving the uh, having giving an option for accommodation facility for the scholars. It could be the simple hostel or it could be the quarters, uh, uh, something like that. But there, uh, there is no facility. That's why and you considering Delhi being the uh, the city that is metropolitan city and almost the higher highest you can say percentage of HRA, still the amount is fixed for nine thousand. So if you are taking a uh, room outside for 9000 so it is almost as if uh, you are getting an accommodation from all India Institute of Ayurveda itself. So this is in relation to why they are getting more amount than that of Jaipur and that is National Institute of Ayurveda and both these colleges are having similarity even in the number of years course both are having three years of PhD. So this is in relation to the exact stipend of all India Institute of Ayurveda no other grade pay or other payment allowances will be given like uh, non practicing allowance and traveling allowance. And ultimately every six months there will be a change. Mm -hmm. So right now there is there are no deductions done by the authority in the sense deduction in the, in the sense tax deductions. So the entire amount will be credited. Whereas in National Institute of Ayurveda the TDS is cut and it is considered as a salary and ultimately form 16 and ITR has to be filled in Jaipur. So that is difference between Jaipur and Delhi. Otherwise the degree and everything remains the same. So this is in relation to All India Institute of Ayurveda New Delhi. So for such similar uh, videos and even for the content related to Ayurveda from all different angles, we are uh, striving hard to get them as soon as possible. If you like the content, kindly like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, thank you.